most people don't realize that within Christianity, there's a deep, rich tradition of spirituality. That's probably because with the rise of evangelical Christianity, which is really only about 100 years old, people focus on this experience of being saved, this momentary experience, and certain doctrine that goes with that. But the Christian spiritual tradition is much broader, and there are actually multiple traditions. I talk about that in another video, the problem with Christian spirituality. So you may want to check out that video. But today I want to talk about a related topic. And that related topic is, what's really unique about Christian spirituality? And as I do, I want to invite you to subscribe to this channel, as well as to click the bell so you're notified of future videos. You know, probably a lot of people think that what's unique about Christian spirituality is the person of Jesus. Well, you know, many great traditions have a central figure. So in Islam, there's the prophet Muhammad. In Judaism, there is, is, there is Moses. In Buddhism, there's, of course, the Buddha. So having a central figure isn't all that unique. I've read many writers say that what's unique about Christian spirituality is the sense of community. But that's not unique to Christianity. I mean, in Buddhism, there's this idea of clinging to the Sangha, about seeking refuge in the Sangha, which is the community where you learn, where you share with others. It's where the teaching is found. In Judaism, there's the concept of the minion, that you need at least 10 adult Jews in order to have certain religious observances. So other traditions have a concept of community. But I think what's unique and, and not found elsewhere in other traditions is something that is theologically referred to as the incarnation. Now, I don't want to get caught up in dogma, but it's important to understand this basic concept because it feeds into the spiritual traditions of Christianity. The incarnation is the belief that God became human in the person of Jesus, that when Jesus was born, that child was both human and divine. Now, that's important because within the context of Christian spirituality, there is this fundamental belief, this essential belief, that our spiritual journey is about moving into that divinity. Athanasius, who was a bishop in Alexandria, Egypt, in around the year 300, said that Jesus became human so that human beings could become divine. And that was a common understanding in his era. And people through the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth centuries wrote about this understanding of our entering divinity because Jesus became human. And we find that in the scripture where Paul talks about our being conceived from above because of baptism. We also had this understanding that Jesus, you know, was the child of, of the parent, the, the father God, and that through Christ, we share as siblings with Jesus as children of God. So that through the presence of Jesus, there is something, some way that we enter into divinity, that there is divinity within us. And that's really unique within Christianity. But it goes further. It's a sort of lost in Western Christianity, but it's still very much preserved in Eastern Christianity like Eastern Orthodoxy and Russian Orthodoxy and, and the Coptic Church, which is found in Egypt and Ethiopia and Eritrea. There's this understanding that it isn't just us. It isn't just an anthropocentric issue that we have the opportunity to become divine. Instead, that by Jesus becoming human, all of creation, the entire cosmos, is infused with divinity. One of the images from that is taken from this gospel story of Jesus being baptized in the Jordan. 
And common reflection on that is that as Jesus went down into the water and, and, and entered the water and was submerged, he came back out of the water and lifted everything of creation, all of the cosmos with him, into the life of divinity. What this means is that through the incarnation, through Jesus being God and human, we experience something of divine in us and in each other and in all of creation and everything around us so that everything is infused with this sense of the divine so that we both remain ourselves, but yet there's, there's some dignity of divinity that's found. And, and that's key in the Christian spiritual path, the Christian spiritual tradition. And this builds on words that Jesus said. And if we understand this, if we have this understanding of, of the incarnation, that there's something divine in us and others and in everything that's created, then the words of Jesus, that the realm of God is within us and that the realm of God is here, well, we hear those words differently. And we understand that Jesus isn't talking about some, some sense of God outside of us in some afterlife, but that it's really rooted in our reality here and now. And I think that's what really makes Christian spirituality different. If we really explore it and look into it and understand this sense of rootedness in us, of something beautiful and divine that we encounter in each other and in all of creation. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and on this one, be sure to ask me some questions and offer some comments, and know that I really appreciate the time you spend with Spirituality Beyond Borders.